I'm about to show you one of the most versatile fishing rigs ever made. It's called the Padnoster. Beautiful if you're land based fishing, boat fishing, doesn't matter. Padnoster off the surf on big salmon, deep water for big King George whiting, nana guy. This rig will do the job and you must make sure you know how to tie it if you want to catch more fish. Now keep it simple, about a metre of main leader. Then we have a small dropper, which I pre-cut to around 10 inches. All I do is measure this out on the board there so that it sits beautifully, that should sit about fine. Then all we do is tie a granny knot pretty much. So I just do the loop, then I go back through there three times with both lines. One, two, and three. Before I pull it up tight, pull a bit, a little bit of lubrication, then I pull the whole knot tight. And once I've pulled all four lines, I like to pull just the pink lines. Give that a good pull and then just pull that clear line too, which is the dropper and its tag. So I give that a good yank. Okay, my tag is there. I cut the tag off, which is the short piece of clear line. And literally, there is my first dropper from a pattern oster. That is a beautiful dropper. The reason I like tying the pattern oster this way is because you can actually see how that arches up and it holds the hook away from the main line. If you do it a lot of other ways, it sits down and they tangle very easy. So that is just sensational. Now we need to add our second piece. So I can literally lay this down and try and measure so that if the two have hooks on the end, they can't actually grab because you don't want them grabbing to get nasty tangles. So I throw this bit over here and I work from the bottom. So once I've measured my second dropper, I sit it in place and form another loop. And then I put the whole rig through once, twice, three times. Again, a bit of lube, pull it all up nice and tight, then pull the main line and the tag and cut off the tag. There is my second beautiful little dropper. Look how neat that is sitting there. That is an absolute gem. Again, you can see the way it's sitting away from the main line, so that bait is going to present itself just beautifully. Now to finish the whole rig, on the bottom, we basically want to put a point to attach our sinker. So I literally fold it over, another granny knot, and I only go through twice, because if anything is to break on this rig, I really want it to be in the sinker dropper. Pull that up tight, cut the tag off, and this now looks very much like a Padnoster rig. You can see, sinker attachment point on the bottom. Up from there, my first dropper. Up from there, my second dropper. And all we need to do to finish it, just tie a suit on the end with either a uni or a blood knot. That is the perfect rig. Whether it's sitting on an angle like that, being pulled up in the surf, whether it's straight up and down, it doesn't matter. Works in absolute gem. That rig is one you must learn if you want to catch more fish around our great country. Yeah.